Tutamomba Pastor George atatusomea katika Ruth sura ya 4. I'm going to read uh, the book of Ruth chapter 4. 1 to 10. Tutasoma kitabu cha Ruth uh, sura ya 4 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 10 kwa Kiswahili. Na utasoma kwenye Biblia yako. We're going to read from the book of Ruth uh, chapter 4 from verse 1 up to 10. I will read it in Swahili and please follow me uh, with your Bibles. Basi Boazi akapoya kwenda mpaka langoni akaketi pari. Tazama nende mtu wa jamana alikuwa karibu wa mbae Boazi. Hamemnena akapita. Naya kamuita. Naya wewe karibu uketi hapa. Naya kaja kaketi. Isha akatua watu kumi miongoni mwa waze wa mji akawambia. Nini nani ketini hapa wakaketi? Kisha akamambia ime jamaa, huyu Naomi aliyebudi hapa kutoka kuchi ya mwabu, anauza sehemu ya ardi, diyo mwanayo ndugu yetu melimeleki. Nami nilikuwa kinyangu ni kujulisha wewe, na kukuambia, winunue mbele ya hama walioko na mbele ya wase wa watu wangu, hama wewe utaikomboa haya. Uikomboe, lakini kama uitu utaikomboa, niambie hili nijue nimi, wakua hakuna kutu wa kuikomboa nila wewe na baada yako ni mimi na ya kasema nitaikomboa mimi sari watani nipopo waze ya kusema siku hile utakapolinua shamba mkunoni kwa Naomi unamunua rutu pia hui mwabi kewe marehemu ili makusuli muinulie marehemu jina katika umithi wali basi yule nja lisikatike miongoni mwandugu zake wala langoni pa mji wake Leo hivi nini ni mashahidi? Baba tuko mbele zako. Father we are before you. Tunavu wa mwaku ingia katika mwaka ilfu mbili na ishirini kwa neno lako. As we decide to enter year 2020 by your word. Na omba kwa jili ya kusanyiko hili. I'm asking for this gathering. Hata na wote ambao wanatuona kwenye runinga. And even all those who are watching us on TV. Waweze kuipata roho ilio nyuma ya maneno haya. They may be able to get the spirit behind these words. Wasisikie kwa masikio tu. May they not hear by their physical ears. Bali wapoke ndani ya mioyo yao. But may they receive in their hearts. And as they hear this word, may your perfect will be revealed in their lives. Father, we are asking that you be with us. May your presence move with us. From today up to the end of the year 2020. In January, Mwezi wa February, February, Mwezi wa March, in March, Mwezi wa April, in April, Mwezi wa May, in May, Mwezi wa June, in June, Mwezi wa July, in July, Mwezi wa August, in August, Mwezi wa September, in September, Mwezi wa October, in October, Mwezi wa November, in November, na mpaka December, and even up to December. Uwepo wako, may your presence uwe pamoja nasi. be with us. Neema yako, may your grace ituwezeshe, enable us. Kuingia katika to enter into your purpose na kwa nguvu zako, and by your power utenda mambo maku, do great and mighty things dani ya maisha watu wako, in the lives of your people uwape masikio ya rohoni, give them spiritual ears ya kuweza kusikia, to be able to hear uinue imani yao, raise up their faith uinue viwango vya imani yao, raise the standards of their faith uinue viwango vya maisha yao, raise the standard of their lives wakijua kwamba wanaweza yote knowing that they can do katika all katika yeye awatia ingu in you who strengthen them Enable us to speak. Nadamu ya kwenene me majuyetu. May your blood speak better things upon us. Nadamu ya familia zetu. And upon our families. Nadamu ya kwenene. And may your blood speak. Ushindi. Victory. Juu ya maisha yetu. Upon our lives. Asante buwana yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Kwa kuwa roho wako anatawala. For your spirit is ruling. Kwa kuwa roho wako anamiliki. For your spirit is ruling. Kwa kuwa roho wako anatenda pamoja na sisi. For your spirit is working with us. Asante buwana yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Kwa upendo wa ajabu liyo tupendo. For such a wonderful love that you've loved us with. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Like the way we say it in the TV. God is a God of numbers. Even when we say year 2020 is already a number that we are entering into. I know you know 
know but it is a year 2020 since the coming of Jesus. Ina maana kulikuwa miaka huko mbele. It means there were years before. Lakini kwa kuwa kuliingia mwanaume wa wanaume ndani ya dunia. But because a man of men entered into the earth. Namba zote zikawa multiply na sufuri wakaanza upya. All the numbers were multiplied by zero and they started afresh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kwa hiyo namba 20. Therefore number 20. Ina maanisha redemption. It means ukombozi. Ukombozi. Redemption. Ina maanisha It means mtu ambaye analipa gharama ya kukomboa yule ambaye alikuwa amepotea. A person who is paying the price to redeem the one who was lost. Mtu ambaye yuko tayari kulipa kitu cha maana ili kukomboa kile ambacho kilikuwa kimepotea. A person who's ready to pay something very valuable in order to redeem or restore Hiyo that which was lost. That is what we call ukombozi. Kukua mwaminifu na kujua umuhimu wa kitu na kukigaramikia ili kiweze kurudi katika uhuru wake. To be faithful and to know the importance of something and then you have to cost for it so that you may restore it back. Kwa hiyo unavyoona 20 mara 2. So as you see 20 times 2. Unaona kwamba pamemwangika neema ya ajabu sana. You see that there is such a marvelous grace that is important. Waimbaji wanasema favor double double. The, the singers would neema say that neema mara 2. Favor double grace double. Na mo, ni nzuri kuliko moja. And two is better than one. Kwa hiyo ndio maana tumegundua kwamba mwaka 2020 ni mwaka ambao kutakuwa na uncommon favor. Mambo yani Upendeleo ambao sio wa kawaida. That's why we have discovered that year 2020 is the year that will have uncommon favor. Ule upendeleo wa Mungu ambao utakufanya uweze kufanya vitu wewe mwenyewe ujue kwamba huyu si mimi ni kidole cha Bwana. Favor of God that will enable you to do things to an extent that you will realize it is not me this is the hand of the Lord. Mambo mengi tumeyafanya kwa nguvu zetu. We have done a lot of things by Mambo our own strength. Mambo mengi tumeyafanya kwa mawazo yetu. We have done a lot of things by our own ideas. Lakini tunapo tumeingia katika 2020 Mungu mwenyewe anaenda kudhihirika God himself is going to reveal himself linaenda kudhihirika Kilicho kwa kilifichwa That which was hidden kinaenda kuonekana going to be unveiled Na Mungu atajitwalia utukufu And God shall get the glory Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise the Lord Nimeanza na mahubiri ya Ruth I've started with the preaching about Ruth. Na najua kwamba mnayajua hayo mahubiri. And I know you know the story. Chapter ya kwanza. The first chapter. Chapter ya pili. The second chapter. Chapter ya tatu. Third chapter. Leo tunaingia kwenye chapter ya 4. Today we are in chapter 4. Chapter ya kwanza. The first chapter. Wakati ambao Naomi na mume wake. It is when Naomi and the husband. Walichukua uamuzi mbaya. They took a wrong decision. Na wakaenda katika nchi ya Moab. And they went to the land of Moab. Walipofika huko. When they got to Moab. Walikutana na vitu vingi they were faced with a lot of things mateso, which were sufferings death yani ilikuwa kama ni sako ya misfortune tu inaendelea it was a circle of bahati mbaya that was around them kwa hiyo ilifika mahali so it came to a point akaamua kutoka katika jambo hilo they decided to leave from that situation na kurudi katika nchi yao to return into the land kurudi katika kusudi la mungu to return into the purpose of god maana waliangalia kwamba hiyo sako ya misfortune inaendelea na kuendelea because they watched over that misfortune circle that was going on and on and on. Wa so they took a good decision huko to return there in their land of Israel. Na mambo mengi yalivotokea. And many things happened. Tunajua kwamba kulikuwa Orpa, kulikuwa Ruth. We know there was Orpa, there was Orpa libaki. Orpa remained. Naomi alikuwa anawaambia mbaki mm. mimi sina tena watoto, mimi ni mzee. Naomi was pleading with them that remain, I don't have any more children, I'm old. Katika mawazo yake. In her ideas. Alikuwa anasema acha tu nirudi nyumbani. She was saying, let me just go back. Acha tu nirudi Israel, nende kufa huko. Let me just go back in Israel so that I may die there. Maana sioni kitu. Because I can't see Nothing. Kwanza mimi ni mzee. After I'm old. Nimefiwa na mume. I've lost my husband. Nimefiwa na mtoto wangu wa kwanza. I've lost my first born. Nimefiwa na mtoto wangu wa pili. I've lost my second son. Yaani kuna baki nini sasa? What is there now? Acha mimi niende huko nifi. Let me go back and die. Lakini Ruth akasema. But Ruth said. Mimi sikuachi. I'm not leaving you. Uendapo nitakwenda pamoja. Where you go I'll go. Mungu wako atakuwa mungu wako. Your God shall be my God. Watu wako watakuwa watu wangu. people will be my people. Kule utakapokufa na mimi nitazikwa. When you will die I will also be buried there. Kwa hiyo wakaanza safari. So they started the journey. Wakaanza safari. They started the journey. Chapter ya pili. The second chapter. Walikuwa katika tuyo hali ya kuangaika. They were in this situation of moving here and there. Ulishawahi kuona hali ambayo huruhusiwe hata kwenda shambani na kuvuna kama wengine. Have you ever faced with the situation whereby you're not even allowed to go to the farm and reap like others? They were not allowed. 
kwanza Naomi na mume wake. After all Naomi and the husband. They had sold the farm Ili waweze kupata hela. So ya kuwafanya waende kwenye hiyo safari. To make him to go in Kuyo that journey. kitu. Therefore they had nothing. Maana sasa hawana kitu na wanalazimika kula. Because now they have nothing and they are forced to eat. Walikuwa wanaenda they were going Yuma ya watu wengine behind others kuokota okota to just glean mabaki liyo baki the remaining wanaanza nyu kuokota they were gleaning na ilikuwa ni sheria ya mungu and it was the law of God wenye nja, that people who were hungry watu wenye shida people who were in need wakingia kwenye shamba yako when they enter into your farm usiwafukuze do not cast them away wache kuokota okota let them keep gleaning yaliyo anguka whatever remained on the ground ina nikumbusha ule umbu ambuwa likuwa kwenye imeza chini anasubiri yale makombo ya mikate it reminds me of the dog who was under the table of Lazarus uh, under the table of Lazarus waiting for those bed crumbs kama ule mwanamke alikuwa anamuomba Yesu Yesu anasema a a a a or like that woman who was asking from Jesus and Jesus said no, 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 no i cannot give this to the dogs muujiza ni waana wa Mungu because the miracle is for the children of God muujiza huo ni waana wa Israel that miracle is for the Israelites haya umbwa the dogs hawaruhusiwi and not allowed lakini ule mwanamke akasema But that woman said Hata umbo anakula makombo kwenye meza ya ya, ya, ya bosi wake crumbs from the Kwa kulikuwa na sheria tu ya kimungu ya huruma ya Mungu So there was godly law of God's mercy kwamba waokote okote that they should glean Ndio maana hata kwenye maisha ya leo That's why even in today's life Hata kwenye Afrika Even in Africa Kuna watu there are people wanaishi katika hali kama hiyo They live in such situations Wanaishi tu kwa huruma za Mungu They just live by the mercies of Hawajui God Hawajui siku zinavyoenda They don't know how days go Hawajui by Hawajui mwezi umepita pitaje Wanaokota okota huku na huku Clean here and there kuko watu wa namna hiyo Do we have such kind of people Kuko historia ya watu kama hao Do we have history of such kind of people Yeye mmebarikiwa. You guys are blessed. Lakini ndani ya Biblia, but in the Bible, kuna watu wamepita katika hali ngumu. There are people who went through such a situation. Hawaoni hata aibu ya kwenda wakiokota okota. They are not even ashamed of cleaning. Ili waweze kuishi. So that they may be able to live. Hiyo chapter. That chapter. Ni chapter mbili. It is chapter 2. Lakini chapter ya 3. But when you go to chapter 3. Naomi akamupa ma, ma, akamupa Revelation. And Naomi gave a revelation. Ya maandaliz. A revelation of preparation. Ya kuingia katika chapter ya 4. Enter into chapter 4. Na mimi nasema ndani ya moyo wangu. And I'm saying in my heart. Mwaka wa 2019. Year 2019. Ulikuwa ni mwaka wa maandalizi kama chapter 3. Was a year of preparation like chapter 3 of the book of Ruth. Palikuwa na maandalizi fulani. There was certain type of preparation. Palikuwa na hali ya kutii sauti ya Mungu. There was a state of obeying the voice Palikuwa of God. Palikuwa na hali ya kutegemea Mungu tu. There was a state of just trusting Maana in God. Maana bila mkono wa Mungu. Because without the hand of the Lord. Wengine kama sisi tungekufa. Others like us we would have been dead. Lakini tulikuwa katika mambo ya maandalizi. But we were in preparations. Mgongo haushike. Your back is painful. Tumbo haishike. Mawazo hayashike. Uko katika hali ya kutatanisha. You are in a very uh, state that was so difficult. Lakini kumbe leo but whereas today nimegundua kwamba ilikuwa ni muda wa maandalizi i have discovered that it was a time of preparation tulio yapitia, the sufferings that we went through ni muda wa maandalizi was a time of preparation machozi tuliolia yalikuwa ni muda wa maandalizi was a time of preparation ilikuwa ni muda wa kujua kumbe hali ya maisha ni ngumu oh the state of life is tough ni hali ya kujua it was a situation of god bila mkono wa mungu now without the hand of god hatungeweza jambo lolote we would not have been able to do lakini usiku wa leo Tonight, Ninataka kutangazia watu mahali hapo kwamba chapter 4 inaingia ya maisha yako chapter 4 inaingia ya maisha yako ambapo Mungu anasema kwamba imetosha whereby God is saying enough is enough maandalizi yanatosha it's enough preparations now kikombe kimejaa the cup is full Unaona hiyo? You see this. Page moja tu. Just one page. Ilibadilish. It changed everything. Mazingira. Changed the atmosphere. Ya maisha huyu mama Ruth. And the life of this lady Ruth. Nik hatua ya kushika hivi na kubadilisha. It is just the matter of flipping Unaona the page. Unaona namba 4 na chapter 4 inaingia. You see 
Number four comes in. Chapter four comes in. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter ina inaanza na vitu vingine tofauti. Chapter four starts with different things. Vitu ambavyo havikuwa huko. The things that were not there. Ile sako ya misfortune imeanza ikaenda ikafika pum inaanza kitu kingine. The circle of misfortune went on and on and then it went to a place. Nakwambia katika jina la Yesu. I am telling you in the name of Jesus. Kama sako ya misfortune ambayo ilikuwa inazunguka. If you have a circle of misfortune that was going on in your life today I command it to put unaenda, to unaenda, an end. Unaenda unaenda kitu unakuta tena. Inakuwa ni sako na sako na sako na sako. Nataka kukwambia kwamba tangia dakika hii. I am going to tell you from this moment. Katika la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Iwe mwisho wa sako ya misfortune. Kuna kitu there is something kule mwisho wa chapter 3 at the end of chapter 3 kuna kitu kilichofanyika there is something that took place kuna hali fulani ya nuru there is a certain state of light iliingia ndani ya mtu anaitwa boaz that entered in a person called boaz usimama to stand na kumpigania huyu mwanamke ruth to defend for ruth hakuwa anamjua he did ruth didn't know him hakuwa anatarajia She was not expecting. Lakini mkono wa Mungu. But the hand of the Lord. Ulifanya maandalizi. Met the preparations. Wakati chapter 3 nafanya maandalizi kwa ajili ya Ruth. When chapter 3 was made, making preparations Mungu for Ruth. Mungu nafanya maandalizi ndani ya moyo wa Boaz. Was also making preparations in the heart of Boaz. Naona Boaz anasimama. I see Boaz standing. Naona Boaz anasimama. I see Boaz standing. Anaanza fanya vitu. He starts to do things. Alafu namuona Ruth amekaa. And then I see Ruth. Ruth amekaa. Seated. Unajua ni kuambiwa wakati wa Mungu. You know can I tell you about the time of God? Hautakata yasho tena. You will not sweat anymore. Unajua ni kuambiwa kwa wakati wa Mungu. Can I tell you but Hata ukikaa tu When the time of vitu vinaanza to fall in place. When the time of God vitu vinaanza. Utaona watu wanasimama. Utaona watu wa Mungu usio wajua wanainuka kukutetea ili kufanya nini kutimiza kusudi la Mungu. When the time of God comes even if you're seated you'll find people standing to defend for you so that they may fulfill the purpose of God. Utaona watu wenye nguvu na watu wenye mguso wanasimama maana Mungu Mungu ametia kiu ndani yao. Mungu ametia kitu cha ajabu ndani yao. You see the mighty and people of impact are standing for you because God has placed something wanasimama in you. Wanasimama. They are standing. Kwa ajili yako. For you. Kwa sababu kuna Mungu mbinguni. Because there is a God in heaven. Who say? Niliyoandika. Nimeshaandika. Hata chapter moja. Hata chapter mbili, Hata chapter tatu, Haitaweza kubadilisha kusudi la Mungu. Can change the purpose of God. Umeipata hiyo? You get that? Boaz akainuka. And Boaz rose up. Akakusanya wanaume wa influence katika huo mji. And he collected men of influence in that town. Akakusanya He collected he gathered Katika them. Katika Israel. In Israel. Wakati kuna majadiliano makubwa. When they had great discussions. Walikuwa wanaenda kusimama kwenye geti la kuingia kwenye mji. They were going to stand in the city gate. Kwenye geti la kuingia kwenye mji. At the city gate. Wanaume wanakaa. Men would sit there. Boaza anawaambia kaeni kuna jambo la maana. Tell them sit down there's something important I need to share with you. Ambia mwenzako kaa tulia kimo. Tell your neighbor just take it in. Tulia. Sit down. Una jambo la maana. Come there's something important. Ambo bwana mwenyewe. Which the Lord himself. Ambia mwenzako bwana mwenyewe. Tell your neighbor the Lord himself. Anaenda kufanya. He's going to do. Hallelujah. Shangilie bwana Yesu. Shout unto the Lord. Wanaume wakakaa kikao. And men sat in the meeting. Boaz akaanza speech. And Boaz started his speech. Nikwambie kitu. Can I tell you something? Ndani ya Biblia Bible, kuna yale maneno ambayo unaweza kuyaona. There are those words that you can see. You read them. Lakini katikati ya mistari. But in between the lines. Kuna yale maneno ambayo hayaonekani. There are those words that cannot be seen. Lakini yapo nyuma. But they are there, they are behind it. Boaz alivyokuwa anaongea. When Boaz was talking. Na wale watu wakiongea. And those people talking. Wao walifikiri ni hayo maneno tu. They thought these were mere words. Lakini nyuma hayo maneno. But behind those words. Kulikuwa nguvu fulani. There was a certain power. Ambayo ni ya kiungu. Which is God. Ambayo ilikuwa inaoperate. Which was operating. Biblia inasema The Bible says Wakati Pastor George anasoma nilikuwa anatega sikio kusikia hiyo neno itatoka namna gani kwa Kiswahili When I was reading she was attentively trying to listen what will Swahili word be Swahili kasema And Swahili word was Na yule jamaa 
and that man it's amazing so he na yule jamaa and that man you know i thought this was a street language when they use that word lakini nimeshangaa kuona kwenye biblia inasema na yule jamaa akasema i was amazed to see that the bible also is using the same word that and that man said yule jamaa and that man ndio ambaye alikuwa ni mtu wa karibu alikuwa na haki ya kukomboa He was a very close person and he had the right to redeem. Lakini kwa sababu hakufunuliwa. But because it was not revealed to him. wenzako hakufunuliwa. Tell your neighbor it was not revealed to him. Baka miaka hiyo mpaka leo bado anaitwa jamaa. Hata jina halisemi. Yes, still today they were just call him that man. Naomba Mungu wa mbinguni usio. He didn't have a name. Usio unaitwa jamaa. I'm asking the Lord of heaven that you may not be called just Naomba a man. Naomba Mungu wa mbinguni jina lako litajwe kwenye mambo ya maana. It is my prayer that your name will be mentioned in important things. Wasiseme kwamba yule Jama, yule, yule, they say that guy, that guy baga, yu, nye, you know the guy who always puts on a white shirt anaka, uh, you would always sit at a certain corner that say, guy ah, that man kama namjue ah, yeah, yule jamaa lakini like, kama sijui jina yeah that guy yeah it's like i can recall hiyo chapter ishe let that chapter end wasi 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 anze kuna kichwa kujiuliza tena jina lako ni lipi let them not scratch their heads and asking themselves what is your name maana kuna hadi ya Mungu inasema nitalinua jina lako because there is a promise of god that says i will lift up your name nitalinua jina lako i will lift up your name kwa hiyo boys therefore boys akatoa story he gave a story akatoa picture he gave a picture lakini but toa kwa hekima ya juu sana he shared it with such a high maana ndani ya moyo wake kuna kitu kinaendelea because in his heart there was something going on ambia mwanzako kuna kitu kinaendelea tell me but there's something going on akasema jamaa jamani say dear ones kuna issue fulani we have a certain issue going on here si mnajua hiyo shamba ambao Naomi aliuza you know about that farm that Naomi sold Yena mume wake na watoto wake wakaenda huko wakaishia. Ha and the husband they went there and they were gone. Sasa Naomi amerudi. Now Naomi is back. Sasa now inahitajika mtu we need somebody ambaye atainunua mara ya pili who will repurchase. Atairedeem hiyo chama. Who will redeem that farm. Ili iwe sasa haki yake. So that it may be her right. Unanipata? You get me right? akaambia yule jamaa ambaye kulingana na sheria yeye ndo alikuwa kwamba anapewa nafasi ya kwanza ya kuinunua hiyo shamba tena upya so he told that man whereby according to the law he was the one given the priority to repurchase or to re- restore yes. that farm again kwamba kulingana na hali hiyo ya kifamilia the... yeye ndo alikuwa anaonekana mtu wa kwanza ambaye ana haki ya kuridim hiyo shamba according to family matters he was the one who was the number one person who could redeem that Kwa farm kwa boss akamwambia sasa so boss told him now ndugu yangu my brother wewe you ndio ulikuwa na haki you the one who had the right ya kuridim hii shamba to redeem or restore this Kwayo, farm j now skiliza ikima hapo now listen to this wisdom j now Waitaji kuridimi hiyo shamba ndio kama hapana pia niambie. Do you need to <laughs> redeem that farm if it is yes tell me if no then also let me know. Kwa sababu Israeli ni, ni nchi ndogo because Israel is such a tiny country. Wanajua value ya shamba. They know the value of Akasema ndio. And he say yes. Niko tayari kuikomboa hiyo shamba ready, na kuinunua upya. I'm ready to repurchase it. I'm ready to redeem it. Boaz akasema oh and Boaz say oh okay good lakini but kama utainunua hiyo shamba if you're going to repurchase or redeem this farm inamaana utai utainunua pamoja na yule mumoabu ambaye ni Ruth kwa sababu yeye ndo alikuwa ni mjane wa yule ambaye alikuwa mwenye shamba It means if you're going to repurchase it you're also going to repurchase with that Moabite 
Ruth because she was the one she was the wife of the owner of that farm. Na wewe uwezi ukapenda shamba na usipende na ule mjane mumwabu ambaye anaambatana na hiyo shamba. Now you cannot like to have that farm without loving the Moabite who also is attached to that farm. Ah yule jamaa akasema mm. And that man say oh No, I'm not ready. <laughs> If that be the case, I'm not ready. Yani mimi napenda shamba lakini habari za kushuka. Yes, I like the farm, but when you tell me now about owning even a person, no. Huyu sasa huyu ni habari mbaya huyu ni shida. This is shida. This is bad news. Kwanza ni mumoabu. After all she's a Moabite. Alafu pili ni mjane. And second thing she's a widow. Alafu tatu alikuwa tasa maana hatukusikia historia tangu aliolewa huko kadhaa. Third thing she was barren because we've never heard the history that she should got married she get birth. Hiyo shida sana. This is a problem. I cannot inherit these problems. Wewe umekaa kwenye kona. You are seated at the corner. Wazee wa mji wanakuongelea. The elder men of the city are talking about Wana you. Wanakujadili. They discuss about you. Na yule ambao angepewa haki and the one who would have been given the right kulingana na ufuno wake according to her revelation anasema ah is saying no. Siko tayari. I'm not ready. Ule hanifai. Ah, she's not good for me. Kwa sababu gani? Why? Aliona na macho ya damu na nyama. This person was viewing with her physical eyes. Manake huyo. Because that one kipindi hicho kuna nguo za wajane. By then they had special clothes for widows. Kuna nguo ya ya, ya kusema huu ni mumoabu, ni mjane, ni tasa, ni mgeni, ni vitu vyote ambavyo vinaonekana vibaya. There was a type of clothes that would show that this one is a widow, she's a Moabite, she's a, a, a visitor, she's new here, she does not belong here. Kwamba kazi yake tu yeye ni kwenda nyuma ya wengine kuokota okota kuokota okota. negative that her only work is to glean. Amekaa huko kwenye kona. She's just seated at the corner. Yule jamaa. That man. Yaani Biblia nayo inajua kudharau watu ambao uh, hawana mafunuo. The Bible knows how to despise people without revelation. Akasema ule jamaa akasema mimi siko huko. And that guy say no, I'm not there. Nilikuwa interested na shamba lakini shamba ambayo itaambatana na huyo mwana ah ah. My interest was a farm but the farm that is going to be attached with such a woman. Kumbe no. asijue ndani ya moyo wa Boaz. Little did he know about what was going on in the house. Roy inatonga kwamba akatai 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 beating that he should say no should say no. Kamgeukea kamwambia and then he turned to him and say Nakupa hiyo haki. Okay I give you that right. Wewe ndio ulikuwa number 2. You were number 2. Kwa hiyo wewe unasemaje? Now what do you say? Akasema Mimi niko tayari. I'm I'm ready. Niko tayari. I'm ready. Shamba niko tayari. The farm I'm ready. Na na yule mjane yule mwabu and the Moabite the widow naitamchukua. I'll take her. Ili so that jina ndugu yetu isipotee. The name of our brother may not be lost. Watu wanakaa wanakujadili. People are sitting down discussing about Wewe you. Wewe uko uko mbali. You are far away. Lakini maamuzi makubwa but great decisions yanatokea. Are being made. Kumbe hawajui. Whereas little Mbingu people inachungulia. That heaven is Ina, down. inachungulia. The heavens is looking Kuangalia kwamba wanaamua nini? To see that what are they deciding? Unanipata? You getting me? Kulikuwa na sheria ambayo inasema kwamba ukitoa haki yako ukamupa mtu mwingine that was saying that if you give out your right and give it to somebody else Sema kwamba mimi sijali na siko interested I don't care I'm not interested Unatoa kiatu then you have to take off your shoe Unampa yeye you give that shoe of yours Anava. to that person then he put Watu wanaona people's witnesses wanajua kwamba and they know deal imeshapita now deal closed Akatoa He removed Haraka. his shoes quickly and he gave it to him. Ambia mwenzako. Tell your neighbor. Muda wa kufunuliwa ni huu. The time to be revealed is now. Kuna watu. There are people. Kuna vitu. There are things. Ambao kwa macho ya wanadamu. Whereby with your physical eyes. Vilikuwa vinaonekana havina thamani. This things will look like they were. Lakini kuanzia usiku wa leo. But from tonight. Kile kitenge kinaanza kuanguka. That piece of clothes starts to be. Kile kitenge kinaanza kuanguka. 
It is going off. Yale majina ambayo ulikuwa umepewa yanaanza kudondoka. The name that they gave you now they are starting to get off. Ile kusudi ya wanadamu na hiyo sako ya misfortune inaanza kuanguka sasa. The plans of men and the circle of misfortune starts to be destroyed. Inaanza kuanguka. It's falling down. Mungu anaikunja. God is bending. Anaitupa huko. He's casting it away. Anasema inatosha. He's saying enough is enough. Yaani ile sako ya misfortune. That means that sako of misfortune. Inaondolewa juu ya maisha yako. It's being removed of Inaondolewa juu ya maisha yako. It's been taken away from your life. Ni kama ni kama mtu yuko tayari kula ndizi. It's like somebody who's ready to eat a banana. Anatoa jani, anatoa jani, anatoa jani, anatoa jani. Inabaki hiyo ndizi. And you only have that banana. Ndio kitu kilichotokea. That's what happened. Walivyo exchange viatu. When they exchange the shoe. Basi wakapiga makofi, deal imepita. They clap, that was it. The Boaz iko tayari. Boaz was ready. Kununua upya to repurchase. Hiyo shamba that farm. Na kumpokea Ruth. And to take Ruth. Kama mke wake as his wife. Ili so that hiyo jina iweze kuendelea. The name may continue. Ruth alikuepo. Was Ruth there? Alikuepo. Was she there? Naomi alikuepo. Was Naomi there? Vitu ambavyo vinatengenezwa katika ulimwengu wa roho. Things that have been created in the hii chapter 4. From this chapter 4. Hausiki tena. You're not concerned Wewe anymore. Wewe tu utaona unakuja kupewa taarifa nzuri ya kukushangaza. You will just see people giving you good news that will amaze you. Ninaamini mia kwa mia. I believe 100%. Ruth alivosikia hiyo habari. When Ruth heard the news. Akasema mimi. She said me? Kweli? Is it true? Imekuwa hivyo. It has been like that. Ninaweza nikaolewa tena. Can I be married again? Ninaweza nikapewa jina mpya. Can I be given a new Ni name? Ni wanani wameamua hivyo vitu? Who have decided such things? Imeamuriwa sangapi? What time was this Nina done? Ninaamini alisema. I believe she said. Hii this. Ninahesabu. I count it. Kama upendeleo ambao sio wakawaida. As a favor that is uncommon. Yes. Acha ikuangukie usiku wa leo. Let it fall upon you tonight. Upendeleo ambao hukuutarajia. This is a favor that you never expected. Upendeleo ambao haujaomba hata. The favor that you even never prayed about. Upendeleo ambao ni, ni kama ni kama hiyo lottery ambayo inaenda da 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 da, da ta inaanguka juu It's ya. a favor like the way you do lottery it just goes around and then it falls upon you. Utakavyoiona hiyo. Once you see that. Ujue kwamba hiyo sako ya misfortune imeshaanguka chini. You should chini. know that the sako of misfortune is Ujue kwamba chapter 4 ya maisha yako inaanza. You should know that the chapter 4 of your life is beginning. Mshangilie Shout unto the Lord. Iyo habari. This news. Ina nikumbusha kabinti. It reminds me of this little girl. Kalikuwa na mieka karibia kuminaine. Kabinti kadogo. She was about 14 years. Just a little dumb son. Katika Israel. In Israel. Miaka nenda, miaka rudi. Kizazi hada kizazi. Years in, years out. Walikuwa wanasema kwa mba mokozi atakuja. They are saying a savior will come. Mkombozi atakuja. A redeemer will come. Yendo atatukombua na mikono ya madui. He is the one who is going to redeem us from the hands of the enemy. He will be the king of kings. Yendo savior wa maisha. He is the savior. Watu wanaskiliza wanakufa wengine wanakuja wanaskiliza wana People heard they died they heard they died they came and gone but the savior was not there yet Nawezekana ulipokea prophecy But can I tell you something is possible that you have received the prophecy Years gone by years came in Ikafika mahali basi bwana afanye apendavi And it came a point where I say let the Lord do whatever he wishes Lakini kwa taarifa yako But just for your information the time that you expected less the time that you were not even thinking about that thing the time that you thought that be it there or not that's when you see that it falls upon you again a girl of 14 years kutoka kwenye familia isioeleweka from an unknown family kakasikia tu wow she just heard you are blessed hail mary you are blessed and highly favored umebarikiwa na mungu the women kati ya wanawake wote Salamu ya namna gani? What type of a greeting is this? And she was afraid. And the angel said, Fear not. 
I'm also telling you, fear not. What is going to happen to you? It is the finger of the Lord. What is going to happen? It is the hand of the Lord. Fear not. Because these are the things that are above your understanding. These are the things that your mind cannot perceive. And you told him, fear not. For you're going to conceive. And the conception of that pregnancy is, it is that the Savior that he was mentioned uh, many, many years ago. That name that they say, his name shall be called Jesus. He is the Redeemer of Israel. Kila muyahudi alikuwa na jua ayo maneno lakini Every Jew used to know those words. They were hearing those words every time, every time, but they did not know when they were going to happen. And remember, there was a long time of quietness, no prophecy at all. And when you look at this situation, you say, there's no need of prophesying. You have to be quiet. That's why. That's why I love God. You know when God wants to do something, he makes sure that he silences everything. He makes sure that everything gets rotten like the way what happened to Lazarus. Prophecies imekwisha, kila kitu kinaonekana hakifai tena, mungu anasema, aa, hii ndiyo nilikuwa na isubiri. Nilikuwa na isubiri, ndiyo ya kwangu mimi kama mungu. Ile, kila mtu aseme kwamba, the person that I'm talking to you, it's you. When everything has been said and done, when everything is silent, that's when God comes in and says, now this is my time. So that people may say, this is the hand of the Lord. And he gave the whole plan. And then he told her, as a sign. And after this, after I've told you this, there's something else in your family which was also impossible that your cousin Elizabeth who is old she is very old she can never bear children anymore and Zachariah the priest they have waited and waited. They knew that God has already forgotten us. Now, him also has been visited. Right now as I'm talking to you, she's pregnant. Six months now. Because with God, nothing is impossible. And the girl was amazed. And she said, now, let it be so, as you're saying. I'm telling you, don't speak to words. Just say, let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. According to the preaching. Let it be so. According to the message. Let it be so. According to the word of the altar. Because I fail to understand. I've let it go. I don't pray about it anymore. I don't see how it's going to be. But let it be so. According to this word. Tell your neighbor. Let it be so. According to the word of God. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven who speaks to your heart. You are saying, I can't see nothing going on, but I have believed. And I confess, let it be so, according to the word of God. When they were in such amazement, Jamani, Dear ones, 
when it is not revealed unto you is like foolishness. You know there are things that God has agreed darkness to cover. But I see in the spirit world. Those blankets of darkness I see light coming forth. And that light once it's going to shine upon the life of Ruth everybody will say is this the one or maybe they look alike that day you will say by the grace of God it is her Oh, it is him. Receive it in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, it is the one. I want to prophesy today that you whom the world made you to be despised, you who saw that you're good for nothing and you're not worth anything, God is going to make you a candidate so that you may know that this has fallen and upon me, it is an uncommon favor. It is an uncommon favor so that you may not be proud so that you may glorify God. You may say, by the hand of God, it has, been fall, it has fallen upon me. Give glory to God. There are people whereby the ballot is going to fall upon them. There are people whereby the ballots are going to fall upon them. There are people whereby it's going to fall upon them. Whereby it's going to fall upon them. They were unknown. But all of a sudden, Jinazao. Their names have been given the light of God and the favor of God is falling upon them. These are the ones who will say, what can we say to this thing? The God before us, who can be against us? Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Mwaka wa 2020. Year 2020. Ni mwaka wa upendeleo usiokuwa wa kawaida. It is a year of uncommon favor. Ni mwaka ambao kura nzuri inaenda kukuangukia wewe ambao ulikuwa hujui kwamba inawezekana. It is a year whereby they are going to cast the ballots upon you and it's a good one. Ninaomba Mungu wa mbinguni. I'm asking the God of heaven that your spirit may believe your spirit may receive that it is possible that man in the end of the chapter I believe he wept he said I wish I knew I would not have given off my shoe if only I knew I wouldn't have given my rights I was the one to receive but I just thought it's not important bit by bit the one who was called Mara the Bible says God gave her a child. Mungu God gave her a child. Gafla. All of a sudden, she gave birth to a male child. And what was the name of the child? What was the name of the child? Huh? Yohana? Huh? chapter 4. The one who was barren she became pregnant and the child was called Obed. And Obed the days came gave birth to Jesse. And Jesse gave birth to King David. When that guy heard those news, what did he do? Up to today, he's called a certain guy. (laughs) 
Anaitwa jamaa tangu hiyo siku ya kutokufunuliwa mpaka leo vizazi ngapi anaitwa jamaa Since that day when he lacked revelation till today they just call him a certain guy Lakini yule aliyekuwa ameitwa ni Mwaabu But the one who was called Moabite Ni mjane who was a widow Nitasa who was barren Kaitwa Ruth jina lake called Ruth ambaye hai si tena Mwaabu who was not a Moabite anymore Lakini ni bibi but she's a grandma bibi a grandma wa mfalme daud of king david ipoke kwa jina la yesu receive it in jesus name yale machozi uliolia the tears that you cried mungu atayatumia yale machozi god will use those tears kukuosha na kukupa sura mpya to wash you and to give you a new face a new look ndio Musa kaomba hivi That's when Moses prayed kwamba oh Lord that e Mungu you have been our dwelling place umekuwa ndio kimbilio letu for many generations kwa vizazi vingi Now I pray sasa ninaomba that let your face kwamba acha uso wako basi Let your faith acha face faith imani faith uh, acha uso wako be upon us uwe kwetu unaisikia hiyo you get that let your face acha uso wako be upon me uwe juu yangu let your face acha uso wako be upon your people uwe juu ya watu wako kwamba watu watakavyokuangalia when people look unto you hiyo giza itakuwa imetoweka the darkness would have been hiyo uso wa kristo mwenyewe the face of christ himself itakuwa juu yako be upon you na baada ya hapo and after that musa akasema moses said let your face acha uso wako be upon us uwe juu yetu and na let your face acha uso wako established ukaimarike the work of our hands ukaimarishe kazi ya mikono yetu nikwambie kitu can i tell you something umejitabisha you have really struggled umefanya kazi you've worked hard lako. with your sweat lakini 2020 but 2020 inakuja it's coming utafanya kazi you will work lakini hizo kazi but the work you got to do will have the presence of the lord na uwepo wa mungu juu yako and the presence of the lord upon you itaimarisha kazi ya mikono yako the one that is going to establish the work of your hands na uwepo wa mungu and the presence of the lord itafanya kila unachokifanya kitaprosper is the one that will cause whatsoever you're going to do will prosper Umeipata hiyo? You got that, right? Musa aliomba ombi la ajabu. Mimi nilikuwa kama sijaelewa. An amazing prayer that I can't understand if you say God. Acha uso wako uwe juu yetu. Let your face be upon us. Acha uwe uso. Let that face. Uimarishe kazi ya mikono yetu. Establish the work of our hands. Nikwambia habari njema. Can I tell you good news? Bila ulivyovianza. That which you started. Viko sheki sheki. They are sheki sheki. Kwa mkono wa Mungu. By the hand of the Lord. Kwa sura ya Mungu. By the face of the Lord. Kwa uwepo wa Mungu. By the presence of the Lord. Inaenda kuimarishwa. They are going to be strengthened. Inaenda kutiwa nguvu. They are going to be strengthened. Bila ulivyovianza. The things that you started. Mara vinakufa vinafufuka mara vipo mara vipo. They go they come they go. Lakini kwa uwepo wa Mungu. By the presence of God kuimarisha we are going to be strengthened we are going to be established tunaenda kuimarishwa ambia mwenzako to be established tell your neighbor tunaenda kuimarishwa hauamini ndio maana unasema hivi you don't believe that's why you speak like you don't believe fanya ninavyofanya do like the way i'm doing sema i'm going to be established sema naenda kuimarishwa eh eh hiyo ndio sawa that's right sema na imani tena ya pili speak with faith Sema kwamba sema kwa English. Speak it in English. Alafu tutasema kwa Kiswahili. Alafu tutasema kwa Kiswahili. As I'm entering 2020. As I'm entering 2020. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. By the presence of God. By the presence of I'm God. I'm going to be established. I'm going to be established. Sema sasa ninapoingia Sema kwa Kiswahili ninavoingia Na nimeshaingia Na nimeshaingia 2020 2020 Kwa uwepo wa Mungu Kwa uwepo wa Mungu Naenda kuimarishwa Naenda kuimarishwa Safi <laughs> J Papa alikuwa anasema Mungu anajibu maombi ama hajibu maombi Papa used to say does God answer prayer Je Mungu alisikia maombi ya Ruth? Did God hear the prayer of Ruth? Alisikia hakusikia. He heard or not? 
akabeba mimba she became pregnant Akaza. she gave birth mtoto akaitwa and the child was called obed 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 akamza obed gave Jesse. birth to jesse jesse akamza jesse gave birth to david sema nitaimarishwa say you're going to be established nitaimarishwa i will be established uzao wa tumbo wangu the generation of my womb utazao wa falme shall give birth to king hey! hallelujah hey! Sema uzao wa tumbo yangu. Say the generation of my womb. Utazaa wa falme shall give birth to kings. Uzao wa tumbo yangu. The fruit of my womb. Utaleta ukombozi kwa mataifa. Shall bring redemption to the nations. Mshangilie Bwana Yesu. Shout unto Jesus. Jamani, jamaa alilia ama hakulia. That guy did he cry or not? Paka leo anaitwa Till today is called a certain guy. Anaitwa He's called a certain man. He Kaitwa Jama. He was just called a certain man. Wakati mwingine anaitwa Boaz. While others while somebody else is called Boaz. Mambo ya Biblia ni hatari. The things of the Bible are dangerous. Maria alikuwa binti mdogo. Mary was just a little damsel. Lakini but prophecy kamwangukia the prophecy fell upon her highly favored akapata upendeleo ambao sio wa kawaida she was highly favored and common favor ambea mwenzako tell your neighbor the prophecy will be accomplished in my belly unabii utatimia tumboni mwangu mwambie kwamba yale machozi niliolia kumbe ilikuwa maji ya kuniosha ili niwe na sura ya Kristo Tell your neighbor oh so the tears that I cried I didn't know that there were water to wash me so that I could have the face of Christ Mungu hakupenda uoshwe na maji ya mtoni God did not allow for you to be washed Wala by the water from the river. Wala hakupenda uoshwe na maji ya bahari Oh from, from the water from the sea Mungu alitaka uoshwe na maji yanayotoka ndani yako God I wanted, wanted you to be washed from the water that comes from you Kumbe utasema ilikuwa haki nilie nilikuwa najijazia chupa ambayo itanitakasa nifanane na So you say ah, it was right for me to cry because I was feeling the bottle Niwe that would have, would have washed me Wadaud <sighs> Say Jamani Mungu anajibu hajibu Does God answer prayer or not Bethlehem ilikuwa inadharauliwa. Bethlehem was despised. Kwenye Israeli ilikuwa mji mdogo sana. In Israel was very little town of Bethlehem. Amba hauna faida yoyote. Which was uh, useless. Lakini Biblia inasema. But the Bible says. Rejoice O Bethlehem. Furai e Bethlehem. Wewe ambao ulikuwa hujulikani. You who were not known. Ndani yako. In you. Kazaliwa mfalme. A king was born. Simama kwa miguu yako. Stand on your feet. Kumbe Mungu anaitika mtu ashuke chini. So God wants somebody to abide. Ilitakavyo inuka. So that when you Ujue kwamba sio hata mimi. You may know that it is not me. Ni upendeleo usio kwa kawaida. It is uncommon favor. Ulivunja hiyo sako ya misfortune. It broke that circle of misfortune. Leo today kwa neema ya Mungu by the grace of God. Niko yule ambao Bwana amesema niko. I am the one whom the Lord said I am. Na kupitia mimi and through me Unabiwa Bwana utatimia. The prophecy of the Lord shall be fulfilled. Inua mikono yako. Lift up your hands. Pokea zawadi ya mwaka 2020. Receive the gift of 2020. Tutatenda mambo makubwa. We shall do exploits. Tutatenda mambo ya ajabu. We shall do marvelous things. Mwaka wa 2019. Year 2019. Ulikuwa ni mwaka wa maandalizi. It was a year of preparations. Na vile tulivyovianza. And the things that we started. Vinaenda kuimarika. They are going to be established. Vinaenda kufahamika. They are going to be known. Vinaenda kutikisa. They are going to shape. Vinaenda kuleta mguso. They are going to bring impact. Hatutaitwa wa jamaa tena. Not going to be called sit. Tutaitwa kwa majina yetu. We'll be Hallelujah. 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 Kwa hiyo therefore haya ni mambo mazuri sana. This is a marvelous thing. Hii ni siri kubwa sana. Hebu mpe mpe mwenzako 5. Give give high five. Mwambie hongera umeingia kwenye mwaka mzuri. Congratulations. Mwaka umeja neema. Full of grace. Na upendeleo sio kwa kawaida. Come on favor. Ah hii ni kidole cha Bwana. This is the finger of Brother. 
ameingia kwenye mwaka usio wa kawaida common favor in jesus name a common favor imeingia imeingia it has entered in kwenye daftari yako usiandike tena jamaa andika jina lako kwa herufi kubwa in your in your notebook write your name not a certain guy <laughs> and you have to use capital letters established that the will of god linaenda kuimarishwa is going to be established na uso wa mungu and the face of the lord uso wa mungu ni nini what is the face of the lord ni ule uwepo wa mungu is that presence ule uwepo wa mungu kiwa juu yako when the presence of the lord is upon you the, the bible says uwepo wa mungu tashuka juu yako the presence of the lord shall come upon you na mujiza utatokea the miracle will happen ule uwepo wa mungu of that presence of the lord musa ni kwa ajabu sana moses was amazed akasema let your face be upon us acha uso wako uwe juu yetu and let it establish us na acha utuimarishe kazi za mikono yetu hey Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa hiyo mwezi wa kwanza. So this January. Tunaenda kuona redemption power ya Mungu. We're going to experience or see mbozi ya Mungu operating in itself. Ikitembea na kutenda kazi ndani ya maisha yetu, ndani ya familia zetu, kwa watoto wetu katika kazi ya Mungu. And in our families into our children in whatever we're doing. Ukiandaa. Preparing. Mwezi wa pili. February. Uwepo wa Mungu utatanda. The presence of the Lord will be all over. Mwezi wa pili uwepo wa Mungu utatanda. Tell your neighbor the presence of the Lord will be utatanda. all over in the second month. Na Mungu. And by the presence Kazi of the ya Lord. Kazi mikono yetu inaenda kuimarishwa. The work of our hands is going to be established. Usikae kae hivyo. Don't just sit anyhow. Usidharau kazi yoyote. Don't despise any work. Ninakwambia. I'm telling you. Kwa uhakika for sure kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever your hands will touch will be blessed. Amen. Kitabarikiwe. Amen. Hata vile vitu unachora chora tu kama labda unapoteza mtu. Even those things that you just draw like a wasting time. When God looks unto the presence of the Lord. Ujawahi kuona watu ni famous kwa ajili ya frame tu moja ambao wameichora tu. Even you seen people are very famous just for a single. Inauzwa inapigiwa kura inarudisha huku inapigwa kura. They sell it and resell it for millions and millions Kila of dollars. Kila nitakachoshika. But so ever I'm going to touch. Kitafanyikiwa. Shall prosper. Kila wazo litakao cross kwenye akili. Every thought that will cross my mind. Kwa uwepo wa Mungu. By the presence of God. Litaleta matokeo. It will bring results. Ambia mwenzako. Tell your neighbor. Ni mwaka wa kuona matokeo. It is a year to see results. Tumechoka na maneno. We are tired with words. Tutaona tu matokeo. You will just see results. Bas. That's it. Matokeo yenyewe. Results yatajitetea. Will fight for itself. Ipokee kwa jina la Yesu. Receive it in Jesus name.